Hey guys, how's it going? The Master Bucks here, and welcome to the end of Season 3. We haven't started Season 4 just yet, but um, yeah, I'm about to end the season. Let's see, is the board happy with me? You bet they are. An amazing season. Achieve a high finish is what they wanted me to do. I got them to the Premier League, so of course they'd be stoked. And um, domestic cup performance, of course. We unfortunately didn't win any of the, cu any of the cups, which is, you know, it's not, which is, which is okay, it's fine. Um, we got to the final of the Capital One Cup, and for some people... And we played Chelsea. Chelsea ended up qualifying, uh, ended up finishing in the top four in their, you know, in the Premier League this season or last season. So because I made it to the Capital One Cup, I won't tell you until I show it, I'm actually able to show it to you. But for some of you, you should, or hopefully for most of you, you should actually already know what that means. But uh, get excited because something pretty awesome is about to happen in this season. But anyway, let's move on. We're officially putting season three into the books, and moving on to the Premier League. This is a new era and a new dawn for South End United. Whilst this is loading as well, I'll let you know of a few things which I'm hoping to do just straight away as soon as we get into the season. Of course, as you can see there, I just pretty much gave the finger to Wayne Orr and to Slovenia. Holy shit, I've been busy. All right, here we go. Going to advance on through. We're going to enter the transfer window. We're going to be making a few signings, but before we do anything, I will be going into the catalog and buying a few things. I won't say what they are until I'm there, but we are at the moment just waiting for that to tick over. Okay, all my July 1st spam has just got here and we are in the Euro League. I already told you or mentioned or hinted about this before, but yes, we will be in the Euro League because we made it to the Capital One Cup final. Despite not winning it, Chelsea finished in the top four. So they'll be in the Champions League, which freed up a spot for us in the Euro League. We South first year in the Premier League and we're already playing European football. And they want me to reach the semi-final. I think that's a, pro that's a pretty tough ask for a newly promoted team, but... You never know what you never know what will happen. The season budget, surely it's got to be like 10 mil. Something like that. Come on. Please. 11 and a half million I can work with. They want me to finish mid-table. So um, to be totally honest, I didn't have any plans to like, you know, get top four to play Champions League next season because fucking, that's one, not realistic. And two, I'm still playing on Legendary. And now that I'm playing some really tough teams, I don't think I could get to the top four if I fucking tried. And now the final thing is we're looking at players in our youth squad after a while. Angelo Ramizzi, the midget, the 100... Oh, he's 160 centimeters now. He's gotten taller. Fantastic. Okay, here we go. We're going straight into the catalog and I'm going to buy two things straight away. The first of which is edit player in career. So that means I can change players' boots and stuff like that. So that's... And like, you know, if they've got a tucked in shirt, which I think looks like crap, I'll, let, I'll just leave it hanging out. I'm now going to be able to go in and edit that. So my plays are going to be looking fine in the Premier League. And the last thing that I'll be picking up, we're scouting another future star. I said way, way back that I'd scout a future, uh, I would scout a future star every two seasons. And we're in the fourth season, so let's why the hell not. But of course, you know the drill. It's the start of a season, July the 1st. We're looking at the free agents, motherfucker. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Who is this? We got some talent. We got some talent. We got Rowe. We got Aramani. We got Kondo or whatever. Otamendi. Vargas. Maloney. Oh, jeez. Net Fullen. Net Fullen, whatever. We got tons. We got tons and tons and tons of talent. Holy shit. Straight away, we got players worth 13.5 million and 12.5 million, which is more than my like starting transfer budget. So you know I'm picking them up, paying their wages, and then whether I'm going to use them in the future or not, I don't know. Might sell them, might buy a couple of actual real life stars, you never know. But the only reason you get free agents is they either turn into beasts or they just turn into more and more money for you to buy amazing players. So it's an investment, really. Joe Queen Aramani, 79 overall and 20 years of age. He'll be, he'll be a freak. This will be nuts. And uh, okay, now for Ellie Rowe, 19 years of age and 77 rated, 12 and a half million. And it is Rowe, come on, like the X is silent, surely. Submit that offer. Okay, man. So that's 50, that's 50 grand out of the wage already. And now, lads, I'm just really going to go through and just sign every single player, every single regen motherfucker that's in there that's worth like over a million. So that way we can just bring in the players, bring in the depth as well for the Premier League and bring in just a shitload of money in the form of players. Okay, so we just got the notification about the Scouter Future setup. You know, our scouts been sent out, Scouting Network, finest lad with great talent, world class, blah, blah, blah. You know the drill. You know the hoo-ha, so we'll hopefully find an absolute beast in about a week or so. And have a look at these, all these free agents, all these ridiculous players, except, okay, we just lost $25,000 off our wage budget, but just gained $13.5 in the form 
of a 79 year of a 79 in a 79 overall rated 20 year old player who's going to play games grow and go from 13 and a half to 20 million i mean he's an investment it's, it's literally it sounds terrible to call a human being if you will like an investment but that's what they fucking are accepting otamendi accepting vargas accepting maloney accepting con con condi 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 accepting and finally we are also accepting Rowe. So at the end of, you know, all that free agent related stuff, um, and that's probably all the action that I'll be taking in terms of free agents for, you know, the entire, for the rest of the season, quite possibly. But um, this is how the team is looking after we made all those free agent signings. And there's only one of them that's made it in the starting 11 straight away. And that's Ellie Rowe. I haven't put in that Aramani bloke just yet because I still have other midfielders that I want to give games to. But um, he'll definitely be like a substitute anyway. So um, yeah, Rowe's going to be there with 77 a Frenchman, six foot four, so that is a beast. We need a really tall centre back and um, high defensive work rate as well. It's fantastic. But yeah, this has just turned into an absolute shitstorm of young free agents and scouted players. And holy crap! Um, hopefully, we'll be able to make a couple of signings away from the club, bring in a bunch of cash, and then hopefully make maybe you know you never know a couple of pretty good signings straight away. And as well as that, four stars for the first time in the club's history. Thank God, four stars. I think is probably. A respectable level and a level that you would surely need to be to be able to compete in the Premier League. I know five stars is what you really need to like compete in the Premier League, but four, hopefully we'll be able to get by on four for now. Well, so far, we've not an awful lot's happened. We've had some transfer offers for players that, of course, we do not want to sell. And we haven't heard about this... Um we haven't heard about this future star yet. I know I don't know how long it takes, whether it takes a week or like a month or so, but um, still nothing. <laughs> oh, for Miguel Corona, a player that we probably do want to sell. They want him for a million. I am more than happy to sell him for a million and we'll get a million back for him. So, yep, sure, that's okay. Yeovil Town want to buy Luke Proza for 80 grand. I can guarantee you I've accepted that. He will not say yes. Nothing's going to happen. Chance we didn't go through. Player returns from injury. Tony Valana's back. Okay, so Tony Valana's back, a transfer that we made uh, January of last season and a player that I definitely want to give games to. But now, I mean, we got so many central midfielders that, like, they're all fighting for a position now. So this is crazy. But, um... Still want to give him games, certainly, because he's a really well-rounded player. Transfer, I, I told you, I fucking told you. So I've got a friendly now against Real Batiste. I don't really think I want to play it. I only want to play, you know, the prop. I don't really want to play any of the friendlies, to be totally honest. I don't know who I'm playing for the third one, but if it's a kick-ass team, I might consider it. So I'm just going to sim this game against Real Batiste. Let's see how they go just by this, by themselves. I'm just going to skip them. Oh, it's a 2-0 victory, and both goals go on to Gortska. And four of my players got got yellow cards. Holy shit. Okay, we've just ended August, and you know what that means. Because I sent my scouts away on the first of the month, I get my report back from these blokes. And Poku is not looking good, but how's this Chadili looking? No, I'm still not this, still not great either. Fabio Milan's let me down a little bit here. Lewis Martin's turn now. Come on, give me something. Okay, driver's no good. Shears no good. Uh, Leighton Baldwin's looking okay at a max of 70, uh, overall and a max of 94 p uh, potential as well. That's pretty good. Assam, no. Helsop, no. Tomlin, no. Okay, so at the moment, it's just Baldwin. And I, to be honest, I, I can just pick him up straight away. I'm pretty happy with that. <gasps> and look at this. The scout has returned with our future star. Okay, our scout has returned with a young player that he feels can become world class. Let's see. This is the second best scout, uh, scout a future star that you can get. I am just short of the best one. So, view player in the Youth Academy. His name is... I don't know. I think it's Richard Wells. I'm pretty confident it's Richard Wells. Because I know he was there. I know Ramesi's there. I know Bentley was there. I know Bennett was there. I know Evans was there. We just signed ball one. We just signed Baldwin, and we just got Shawcross at the beginning. So, Welsh is, hey, it's got a kick-ass potential, but at the moment, I mean, a max overall of 64 is, yeah, okay. He's English as well, so that probably keeps a lot of you people happy. And um, he's not a midget. As a matter of fact, he's 14 years of age, and he's 175 centimeters. Holy shit. But nah, that's looking good. It looks like he'll have pretty good stamina, which um, is obviously a big thing in um you know in career mode physically strong as well so good who might be a strong physical center midfielder maybe hopefully a bit of an english yaya -ya toro okay we got one more friendly and apparently we only had two friendlies this year which is a bit odd but still uh i'm just going to advance on through to this one we'll simulate it see how the team does so that turned into a 2-1 victory against wolfsburg it's promising signs i gotta say okay so that's all the friendlies out of the way and the first game that we'll be playing in the premier league is against arsenal so 
and it's away. It's at the Emirates. So holy shit, that's a tough start to the season. Now, this is pretty interesting. A little bit of an article. I do like to read some of them sometimes. Mid-table obscurity for South End United. Predicted finish at 15th. And our key player is a free agent that we just signed in Ellie Rowe. So um, everyone's connecting with South End. Hopefully the squad's capable of avoiding any turbulence, blah, blah, blah. And hopefully we'll be able to do well. But um, man, 15th. Game does not rate my chances, does it? So, um, and the game, you have no control. So let's hope I don't end up finishing 15th. Then I get, I want to I want to aim for about 8th or 10th place. I think that that's fair. Oh, here we go. West Brom, want Marouane Mosin for 1.5. He's unhappy. I don't plan to give him games. I've got plenty of good strikers. And he's 26 years of age. He's not going to grow by a lot. I'm selling him. And guys, I'll be honest. I haven't actually commentated over the top of too many of these, but we have sold a lot of free agents, a lot of players that we signed either this or either last season or a few seasons ago. And um, yeah, so we've actually made a ton of money. Like I'll go to the squad super quick. Actually, no, something better. I'll have a look at the transfer negotiations. This is going to, this is just going to be a clusterfuck. Uh, okay. Not that bad, but anyway, Stoinov's left. Pugli Pugliese is left. I think that's the main reason I wanted him out because I couldn't pronounce his fucking name. And Corona is left. Someone that we got in the first season. So he managed to get there, but um uh, yeah, and then of course you got all these players that have recently joined and we're also just waiting on offers. We've also got um, offers for CD Niji and Mosin. So if those fall through, then that's 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 a fair bit of cash. And hopefully in the next episode, we'll be looking at possibly, I don't normally do them straight away, but hopefully maybe we'll be able to sign, you know, like a real star, like possibly hopefully even an 80 plus rated player to, you know, carry us in the Premier League because that's something I've wanted to do for a while, like really sign like a star player. And through selling all of these free agents, I now have the cash to buy a ripper player. And another one with Jose Mario Somoza. Again, a 25-year-old, 69 rated, not going to play him. He's not going to grow. He's unhappy. And, you know, I mean, getting 175 grand less for a player, I mean, at that point, with the amount of money I have right now, it doesn't really concern me. So that's like another player possibly that could be leaving. All right, guys, so we have made it to the game against Arsenal. I'll be playing it in the next episode, but before I leave you, put in the comment section below, next episode, I will certainly be looking at signing like, you know, a real star player, like an 80 plus rated player. So put some, you know, realistic uh, suggestions in the comment section below. Don't tell me to get fucking Ronaldo or Messi because you shits know that I won't be able to do that. But still, uh, thank you for watching, guys. I'm your Game of the Master Bucks, and do not forget to hit your target, which for today is just 1,000 likes. So thanks, guys. I'll catch you later. The first episode of the first season in the Premier League. We're underway and we're about to kick it off in the next episode. So thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.